And today we're going to be talking about bearings. So there are two types of bearings. Uh, the first one is true north and the other is known as compass bearings. So I'm going to talk about compass bearings for now. So a compass bearing is where we have our north, south, east, west compass like so and we want to specify a direction so something that would look something like this so what this is saying is that from north 30 de turn 30 degrees towards east so around about there I would say something like that 30 degrees and that's what this is saying here please note that east is not in front here we can do a similar thing with the south and we'll go 45 degrees and we'll head west so 45 degrees heading towards west 45 degrees and you can see how we can express direction using a compass bearing. So, if I went um, north 30 degrees west, I can, I'm going this direction, around about say that's 30 degrees and then I can specify length of how long I go in this direction say 5 whatever that is and then I can make a new compass bearing and go into a different direction and say I went full south so I head straight back down and whatever that is whatever that length is so four maybe and that might be three and you can see how it makes a right angle triangle and you can see how this relates to trigonometry so what about uh, true bearings so true bearings only con concerns north and going in a clockwise direction clockwise direction of how far you turn so if I wanted to go 15 degrees east I want 15 degrees and I put a T there for true now textbooks will tell you that you have to have three digits in front of the T so put a zero in front if there's only a two digit direction so that that bearing there that I have made goes that way now if I wanted to go 15 degrees in the west direction hold on let's let's write this south so if I wanted to go 15 degrees north 15 degrees but in the west direction so I want to go that way how would it correspond in true north so a circle has 360 degrees so north is at 0 slash 360 so 360 minus 15, and that's 345 degrees true. So what we've done is that we've made it loop all the way around to get us there. So that's all I have time for today for bearings. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below or contact me on social media. And I will see you in the next video.